All right, so while we have the vet here, this is Bryant. It's something that we wanted to help all the homesteaders know how to do is to to know if there's mastitis with your milk cow. And that's something that I was super worried about when we first started with milk cows, and it's something that you might want to know as well. well I'm Dr. Taylor, Bryant Taylor. I'm a, just, uh, I'm a vet here in town. I work mostly with dairy cows, and so it's really fun for me to come do this homestead stuff. But uh, these California mastitis, I think, are a really cool tool for... Um, for homesteaders because they're pretty easy. Uh, it's an indirect indicator of mastitis. So what we're actually seeing is signs of inflammation in the udder, uh, but it's a good quality control for you to do. If you see signs of inflammation in the udder or a couple of times during lactation, um, it'd be good to just run one of these to see because sometimes you'll get subclinical mastitis um, and it'll be affecting your milk quality. Um, having somatic cells in your milk will do several things. It, it will make it not have as long of a shelf life, um, there are several of the subclinical pathogens that are uh, maybe a little more insidious and, and contagious if you have more than one cow. And so running one of these as an indicator, I think, is pretty important. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to strip out all of our teats a, a few times, and then we're going to put a sample of milk in each of these cups, uh, and then we'll put a reagent with it. And uh, it, what the reagent will do is if there are the somatic cells in her milk, um, it'll gel up, and we'll be able to get a semi-quantitative test uh, it's not the same as if you were to send it off to a milk lab and get an actual cytometer to read the actual number of somatic cells, uh, but it's a pretty good indication, um, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than sending off samples. So, cool. We wanna... Okay, so Terry already did a really good job stripping. Uh, we're going to do it again just for the for the sake of showing the test, but um, each tip, you're going to want to strip out four or five good streams before you start. And then these are oriented, so um, left, right, right, front, left, rear, right, rear. And so you'll just put a few good squirts. You need two milliliters per tea in the cup. Okay, there are little markers in this that tell me, and you probably won't ever be able to see them on the camera, but basically you can just tilt these out, and these are going to drain at a pretty consistent rate until you get down to our two milliliter marker, which is coming up. There's our four marker on that top right see one. See those little dashes up there? Yeah. And then there's two right there. So you want an equal amount of reagent to uh, milk in there. And so Tara's got hers in this nice little deal, but that puts us about four there. Puts it so loud. And then what we're going to do is we're going to swirl this around. And so you just want to agitate and mix the reagent with the milk evenly. And what we're looking for is we're looking for either jelly or little clumps forming in this. So you check your first check at about 20 seconds. You will look, I don't see any gelling in any of these four, no clumps. It's kind of nice with this light right here because it really reacts well. But there isn't, there's no high somatic cells in any of these four quarters. If I were to see clumps or maybe some gelling where it doesn't uh, make a full gel, but it kind of gels and then dissipates from my spot, I would say we have a somatic cell count of about 350 or 400,000. Uh, if it actually makes a full gel when I pour this out and it doesn't dissolve when I stop agitating it, then we can say we're above a 500,000 on somatic cell count. This cow's clean, which I, I expected her to be based on her poultry results and based on what we looked at. Um, but if you do get a cow that reacts, the next step would be to culture and to see exactly what you've got going on there. And so that's a that's a good, easy way to give you a, a pretty semi-quantitative uh, look at your milk quality.